this video is part of a series, be sure to check out the description of this video for a full playlist. And we're trying to get over some basics here. There's a, a lot to a lot of basics, and today we're going to be looking at piping. Piping is what really makes uh, the ability to run uh, shell scripts very useful because you can take the output of one program and pipe it into the input of another command. Um, so I'll just give you an example. Here's a command we haven't gone over yet. The ps command. The ps command, uh, and I'm going to use the aux arguments for that, uh, will display every process I have running on my computer. But let's say I wanted to grab just part of that. I wanted to grab only the ones that are, let's say, uh, have the word root in them. So all these ones that uh, are run by root. I can now take the PSAUX command and use the pipe symbol, which is that straight line there. Most, uh, at least, uh, I don't say most keyboards, keyboards over here in the US, it's you have to hold down shift and it's usually above the enter key on the right side of the keyboard. So I'm going to take the output of that and now I'm going to put that into the grep command and tell it to return only lines that have the word root on them. So there we go. And that worked great for most lines. Uh, some lines have the word root on there even though they're not run by root. I can always, here's another little thing for grep. I can say uh, this little caret symbol, which on my keyboard is shift and the number six. That says find lines that begin with the word root. So now we're only returning the ones that are root. But you don't just have to pipe into one command, you can continuously pipe. So now I can take that output and run it again. Uh, let's say I only want the ones that say root and have the date of November 27th in them. I can, or yeah, that will do that. So now I can put it into grep again and say only November 27th or any ones that aren't on November 27th, they reverse. Um, and then you can do other things uh, with that. But I mean, whatever commands you can move into, you can do that. Uh, I'm trying to think of another example of using tools that we've already gone over. I haven't really gone over cut or awk or sed, um, which are all very useful tools. Um, as I've shown in previous videos, I can do C here and it will return uh, the number of lines. But let's just say we didn't have that and we want to pipe, we can pipe that into uh, WC-L and you can see we can get the line number. So piping is very, very useful. So it takes whatever the standard output I should specify because some programs will have their standard output and there's also error output and this is standard output. We'll put that into the next command. So grep here, instead of reading from a file, we're reading the output of this. This grep is reading the output of this grep command. And this WC is, grep, is reading the output of this grep command rather than a file. Um, also want to point out that this is different than doing this. Remember we had, we did the E command, that's different than having grep, then grep again, because, well, I'll show you. There, we're getting all lines that have the word root or have November 27th in it. If I was to pipe this into grep like this, it's going to find all the lines that have root and then filter out all the lines that have November 27th in it. So you're going to get a much smaller return on that. So that is all. I thank you for watching uh, this video. Be sure to check out the playlist if you haven't already. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, be sure to become a, a, a Patreon. A pa a patron at Patreon, patreon.com forward slash millx1000. Uh, there you can support my videos, even something as small as a dollar a month is very helpful. Uh, if you can't support me financially, be sure to check out or to share, subscribe, comment, all the things that just help people bring other people to my channel. Uh, I thank you for watching, and as always, I hope that you have a great day.